New tonight at 10, the head of Denver's police union is speaking out as we get a new look at new body camera video showing the tensions between police, protesters, and a Denver City Councilwoman who can be heard on camera berating officers. Councilwoman Candy Cedabaca stands by her actions, saying she was defending her constituents. Here's Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski. In a few sentences with a few choice words, she challenged the credibility of Denver's police department and the city's mayor. The mayor who thinks he can just sick his dogs on his own people. The person behind the mask and the message is Denver City Councilwoman Candy C. DeBaca. You are watching explosive body camera video obtained by Denver 7. It started as a sweep of a homeless encampment in Denver. But minutes after that sweep started last month, protesters flooded the area. Some caught on video antagonizing officers. <laughs> and officers caught on camera swinging batons as the tensions escalated. The councilwoman questioned the city's decisions to clear the homeless camp and the actions that afternoon of officers. Now others are questioning decisions and actions taken by the councilwoman. I got, I got something. Candy. Candy. And those questions center on this video, a protester locating a body camera that fell off an officer's uniform. Now listen to what comes next. There might be footage on there that we need, but yeah. I don't know how Keep to it. access it. Give it to you. Milo, we can give it to the attorney. Yeah, give, it yeah. To give it to the attorney. She said on camera, we need to get what's on here. That is criminal tampering. That is felony criminal tampering with evidence. DPD Union President Nick Rogers has long been at odds with C. DeBaca. He wants her held accountable for her behavior. This all comes at a time when the councilwoman has publicly called for defunding of the Denver Police Department. In a written statement, the councilwoman said, My comments were directed at officers who stood by while these inhumane events took place. C. DeBaca also said she returned that camera the following day. What she said was a lie, a lie. She was in possession of it for 51 hours. There is no dispute of that. But the councilwoman did dispute that claim. In her statement, she wrote, any suggestion otherwise is irresponsible. The councilwoman declined our request to explain her actions in an interview, but her statement also included, it is also irresponsible to release only the leaked snippets rather than the complete footage. They don't know they do what they're told. So the entire incident remains under investigation by DPD. Denver 7 has confirmed one officer, the officer wearing that body camera, has filed an ethics complaint against the councilwoman for her actions that day in front of those cameras. We will continue to follow as this story develops. Shannon? Tony Kobaleski tonight. Thanks, Tony.